uh, a privilege of the first time ever we have Rod Johnstone on On the Water Anarchy brought to you in the Annapolis Boat Show. Uh, welcome, Rod. Thank you. Um, Obviously, uh, you know, the anarchists are very familiar with your boats. You've got a new boat that a lot of our readers are interested in. Um, it's a little different than the usual boat. I understand you designed it. Tell us about the J97. 95. 95, sorry. <laughs> well, That's the 95, 97. <laughs> I've always wanted to do a centerboard boat, and we've always decided it's a lot easier to build keel boats, but we felt this was the time, or the J boats, and Jeff and everybody at J-Boats felt this was the time to let me design the boat I've always wanted to design, which is a boat that I can sail and, and a lot of people can sail in shallow water, which is most of the coast of the east coast and south coast of the United States from Brownsville, Texas to Cape Cod, Massachusetts. So, yeah. uh, you know, and, 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 I, and I've sailed a lot of keel centerboarders when I was in my younger days in the 50s and 60s and I knew we could do a really good sailboat, and nobody's done one in 40 right. years, 40 yeah. or 50 years. And so, so uh, twin rudders, bronze center well, is that right? Twin rudders was interesting because one of the features that uh, I sailed on a lot of good keel center is, you know, bigger boats, uh, 30 to 40 feet back in the 60s and 70s, and one of the common features of those boats, as well as all shallow draft center borders, is when they heel over, you can't steer them very right. well because of the shallow rudder. Yeah. And, um, so to overcome that problem, um, uh, the only way you can really do it is to is to have a rudder that's going to be pointing straight down when the boat heels over. And so right. the only way you can do that is to have two rudders. And, and so the two rudder, having two rudders that are sloped out at about 15 degrees, uh, so when the boat heels to 15 degrees, you always have the lure one working perfectly, pointing straight down, not in any disturbed flow of water. So there's no water coming out from one side to the other to create sort of artificial helm that makes it hard to steer. Right. And also the, you always have one totally in the water. So the boat has this great glued to the water feeling and anyway I wanted to come out with a boat like that because there is a lot of shallow water and, and a lot, it's right. a huge market that J boats has never addressed right and, and really like you said you know the only, only catamarans have addressed it I mean you know there are not there are very few decent boats that can be cruised uh, you know that, that have shallow draft that have any kind of performance or, or Jason, I mean, so, a so what kind of performance can you expect out of this boat compared to some of your other benchmarks well compared to a j100 let's say well we've been racing this boat against j105 and with a Genoa we are the same speed as a one design j105 really uh, of course that's with an 89 square meter shoot on the 105 and a and, a, and the uh, one design jib. Now, what's your what's we your take? Stay, we cannot stay with, for instance, if a 105 has a 155 jib right. and the PHRF spinnaker, which is like 110 square right. meters, we can't stay with that. But what now? What's been your take on downwind and upwind speed compared to the 105? Uh, upwind and, and uh, upwind with a uh, with a jib, we can stay with them in a breeze. We need to, we need a Genoa to, to beat them in the light air. And what about downwind with downwind, the downwind? They're slightly faster because they're three feet longer and they got a bigger chute. Right. We're in, in certain conditions. We're, we're even with them, like in around 10 to 15 knots of wind, around that 15 knot range, because we can get up on the waves a little quicker than they can. We have a slightly lighter uh, displacement length ratio. Hey, Gonzo. How you doing, brother? Hey, How you give doing? this guy a badge or something. <laughs> you, you got a badge? Pain than that. One of our readers... I don't have your badge. It's a badge. It's on the table on my on my little thing. It says Meredith Block. One of my readers uh, asked if there's room to put in uh, an autopilot down yes. to the double system. Hole number one has one down in Florida. Yeah, they have an autopilot. Great. In, uh, uh, a, uh, on, a, on the quadrant down yeah, below. Yeah, yeah. Um, You've uh, uh, you've um, had a, a, a clean sheet really with this boat, and like you said, this is the one you wanted to design for a long yeah. time. What other little little clever things did you put in that, that aren't things we're used to seeing? Well, there's nothing. I mean, it's pretty basic actually. Yeah. I mean, it's a straight, I'm a centerboard guy. So it has, it's a basic, simple centerboard. You hit a rock, and the board pops up. It's a bronze board, so when you hit something, the rock is going to come out worse than the board. I mean, I, I is there a fuse or something in the in the in the uh, in the centerboard system that uh, that pops well, to let it yeah, kick I up? Mean, or? In order, I mean, one of the problems with centerboards is uh, is, is friction, just getting the board up and down. Right. If the board is binding against anything, it makes it hard. So what we did is we put a, a plastic, a lot of low friction plastic uh, cheeks on the uh, on an assembly. Yeah. That, 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 that's uh, inside the trunk. You, you put the whole assembly inside the trunk and bolt it on. And when you want to get the board out, you undo 10 bolts and the whole thing drops out. So you can inspect everything 
and you can uh, and we put a nice big pin on the thing so uh, you know there's no is the pin bronze as well or is it steel no the pin is part of the stainless steel assembly uh, but it's it's big in diameter so we're not worried about wearing it up and when, when I get done with my boat in a month I'm going to take it out of the water we're going to take it back to the factory we're going to drop the whole thing out and see if we got any problem but I don't think we do how many crew do you comfortably sail with like for racing uh, well crew we can sail with uh, I mean we've raced it with three people we normally race it, it's in a PHRF, or for racing windward lure courses, we're racing with six people on the boat. Do you need that weight on the rail with, uh, without having a heavy keel down there? Well, it's, it's not really the, we do have a heavy keel. It's you don't have a bulb, though. You don't have a, that extra sort of riding moment that you're getting well, from a bulb. The bulb doesn't help. I mean, the thing is, the, is how low is the center of gravity of right. the whole package? Right. And actually, if, if the center of gravity is just as low as it is with a, key, with a deep then, keel, then it's the same. actually in the waves, the, shallow, the uh, shallow draft is better because there's not as much uh, pitching, you know, the pitching moment is less, so the, this boat goes better through the waves upwind in 25 knots of air than a J105. Isn't that amazing? That's why we can stay with them being three feet short. And what's the full weight of the of the, of the uh, centerboard? Uh, the centerboard only weighs 200 pounds, it's bronze. The keel weighs 2,250 pounds, that's lead. And the, the board drops through the middle of it. Right, and where are they, where's the controls for pulling up the centerboard up and down? Right here. That out? <laughs> worked out great. Son, Just right here at the clutches. My son raced the load. Yeah, so you drop it down. That that goes down, and then you know to pull it up. You can use this, or if you're in a big rush, you can go like this. I figure I can do it. I'm 72 years old. Anybody <laughs> look, want to be able to? Now look at this. Here we go. We're watching Rod Johnson pull his centerboard up with all the vim and vigor of a 20-year-old. <laughs> Well, hey, Rod, thank you. It's a, it looks like a great boat. I like it a lot, and a uh, nice I job. Love it. It's my favorite boat I ever designed. Well, cool. Good yeah. for you, man. It took that long for you to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it took that long, right? Thank you. Thank you. Everything, everything good takes time. Yeah. <laughs> All right.